So, thank you so much for this kind of presentation, Professor Kambat Nel. So, um, this is a really pleasure for me to be here at this conference and to speak about uh, my, my recent work in collaboration with Professor Peter Mori of uh, Martin. So, today we are going to talk about uh, the higher positive now and uh, some application in the study of uh, divisibility property of some ternary linear recurrent sequences. So before to present uh, the main idea of uh, this uh, result, I would like to give you some uh, basic notion of uh, algebraic number theory that will be used to get of this uh, presentation. So let K be a number field. A number field means that a finite, uh, a finite extension over Q. A number field of degree of degree n. Okay. And consider P a prime number. So it's well known that uh, the, the idea generated by P can be spent like a product of prime idea of K beta 1 as power alpha 1 up to beta let's say here k power alpha k okay so now if our extension is galois if k is galois and then all the alpha i are the same that means that alpha i exactly equal to let's say i so now, if k is Galois and all the alpha i is equal to 1 and moreover k equals to n and in this case we say that p split completely over, over k. Okay, so now we are going to, uh, the problem that we are going to investigate are the following. The question is, what is an explicit rule, let's say effective, effective rule to decide whether P split completely over the splitting field QS where here f is a irreversible polynomial of degree, let's say, n. Okay. So, to illustrate this problem, let us give you some examples. For example, for the case where our polynomial is equal, for example, x squared plus 1, it's well known that p for all prime we does not divide the discriminant of f, p split completely over qf if and only if p congruent to one modulo absolute value of uh, df in this case. So more generally, for any quadratic polynomial f x squared plus ax plus b, right? We have, using other criteria, we get that uh, P split completely over QF if and only if P can be right congruent to L1 up to LS modulo, let's say here, M. Where L1 up to L S and M depend of the discriminant of this polynomial. So, in general, if you consider now any Abelian polynomial, let's say F, any Abelian polynomial, Abelian polynomial means that the splitting field is Abelian. Abelian polynomial, and then using kronecker weber theorem, we say that uh, any finite uh, Abelian extension can be seen like a subfield of uh, the cyclotomic field. We can deduce that uh, 
P, in this case, except the finite many prime, P split completely over QF here, if and only if P congruent to M1 up to MK modulo here M. Here, M is such that QF is containing in Q the cyclotomic field Q to M here, where to M here means exponential exponential of 2P I divided by by M. Okay. So, in this case, we have uh, the, a very nice criteria in terms of congruence. So now the question is, what happens if f is not abelian? If f is not abelian, that is a very important case. If f is not abelian, you are going to investigate just on the case where f, the degree of f equals 3. So in this case, it's very important to recall that p split completely here over qf if and only if np of f equals 3 is maximal, I mean equals the degree of f. np here means the number of solutions of f modulo, modulo p. Okay. So now, this, quest, this problem has been studied in the first time by uh, Jacobi in, I think, uh, in 80, 27. So Jacobi showed that uh, NPF equals to 3, if F in this case, the polynomial F cubed minus 3, and then NPF equals to 3, I mean P split completely over QF, if and only if uh, P as can be represented by x squared plus xy plus 61y squared. So in the same philosophy, in 1867, I mean 67, 68, Kronecker did the same things for the polynomial f equals x cubed plus x plus 1. He showed that uh, NPF, in this case, equals 3, if and only if P can be represented by a primitive quadratic form x squared plus uh, 27y squared. Okay, so now an open problem in this direction is how can we find the polynomial which have such, um, such property? That means what? How can we find the question is open problem in this direction is to find the polynomial of degree of degree 3 which is irreducible of course such that P split completely over QF, if and only if P can be represented by some primitive binary quadratic form. So, in this direction, Riemann, in 1991, Riemann, Williams, oh, sorry, and Houston, something like that, if I remember, yes, found 25 polynomials which have, which have such property. So now what we have in our work, we found a large class of polynomial which satisfy such kind of uh, property. More precisely, we use class field theory to give a necessary and sufficient condition for a splitting field to be an Hilbert class field of form imaginary quadratic numbers. Uh, imaginary quadratic field. So, exactly, to be more precise, the first theorem that we get in this direction with Mori was, let's consider F any irreducible polynomial 
of degree 3, such that the discriminant of f equals minus p power t, t, t n, where n here is square free, if a square free number, and n and p does not divide n. Okay, so we show that if, let me call n here equals the splitting field of f, and k here equals the imaginary quadratic field q square root of minus n. So we show that if n is the Hilbert class field, if the class field of, uh, of k, modulo is conductor, that is not f, and then p, except uh, find, we try not many exceptions, p split completely over qf, if and only if, and then m p equals x squared plus n y squared, where m equals to 1 or 4, this depending depending of when minus n congruent to 1 or 3 modulo, modulo 4. That is the first level that we, that we obtain. But now the natural question is how can we classify first kind of splitting field? That is the main problem. So to do that, we show that, okay, some characterization that we show here is we show that L split completely over QF if and only if, in this case, the class group, the cardinality of the class group of k is exactly equals 1 or 3, this depending of what minus n congruent to 1 or 3 modulo, modulo 4. That is the two main results that we have obtained. So now, as consequence of this result, as consequence of this result, we, we have shown that that is the consequence of this result in linear recurrence sequences theory. We show that if you consider what we call the Brester sequences, let me call it consequence 1, let uh, B0 equals B1 equals 0, B2 equals uh, 1, and B n plus 3 equals 2bn plus 2 minus 4bn plus 1 plus 4bn. So what uh, at, uh, the reason what I use this sequence is because this sequence has a relevant nice property. For example, if the only non-degenerated tenor linear recurrent sequence which has exactly six roots root in the sense that uh, there are six value of n such that bn equals zero. And this comes from some nice works of Baker of Baker's that I really invite you to read this paper. Baker's work. It's very nice in the sense that he used the geometric idea to succeed in the proof of this kind of uh, result. So, so now what we prove here is if P does not divide 3 times 3, uh, 2 times 3 times 11 times 12, 12, this 12 has some relevant property because it belongs in the set of n such that Bn equals 0. So now we need to remove it. Or all those guys belong to the discriminant. So we show that if P does not divide this, and then P x plus can be represented by this primitive quadratic form if and only if B, P congruent to 0 modulo, modulo P. And we can do the same thing. We have some analogous result for Tribonacci sequence and for some, tenor, for some large class of tenor recurrent sequences in general. So I advise you or I recommend you to, 
to have a quiet look on our paper that we can find on archive. So the next consequence of this result is about the elliptical theory. So now, consequence two here is if you consider the elliptic curve with best stress model, y squared equals f of x. So f is as in our polynomial below, right? Now let's denote by df the discriminant of this of this uh, elliptic curve discriminant of this elliptic curve and NP is the, the ask ball. So NP equals P plus 1 minus the cardinality of the number of points of FP. Okay. So now we show that if using our result, we combine our result with um, Stigberger theorem to show that if P does not divide the discriminant of this elliptic curve, and then P split completely over QF if and only if NP is even. If even, and the quadratic uh, and the Legend symbol of uh, DF divided by P equals equals 1. That is the second consequence of our work. So now uh, we can maybe, before stopping, uh, tell you some consequences that we can have for this work on the modular form theory. For example, according to Tanya Mashimura conjecture, uh, Tanya Mashimura theorem, because uh, this conjecture has been proven by Boyle, Pomeroy, Richard Taylor, and so on. So according to Tanya Mashimura conjecture, this elliptic curve is modular because it's elliptic curve defined in vacuum. So this elliptic curve uh, is modular. Modular means what? Modular means that uh, this means there is the new form F defined of phi of um, the upper half plan. This is the point carré upper half plan. It's defined like uh, the set of uh, Z belongs to phi such that the imaginary part of Z is strictly greater than zero from C. So if there is a modular form, F defined from Z to C, such that the Fourier coefficient of this modular form, the P Fourier coefficient of this modular form, is exactly equal to the PM half bond of this elliptic curve. This is true normally for all P, which does not divide the discriminant of F. But we have a strong result which says that this is true for all P which does not divide the conductor of this uh, elliptic curve. The definition of the conductor is a little bit difficult to do. So in this area, we can see, we can conclude that uh, using the result below, uh, above, that uh, if, P is an, uh, if P does not divide the discriminant of, this, uh, of F, and then P split completely over over QF, if and only if the modular form associated to the elliptic curve defined like this is uh, given. So I think, how many times are that? Three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes. So, okay, I think I will stop here to take some questions. So thank you so much for that. Thank you very much for the questions. So